Hey guys, this is I like Chess One, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a perfect number checker in Java. Now, for everybody who doesn't know what a perfect number is, I'm sure you've already read it, but let me just say it out for you. A, num a number for which the sum of all the positive integer factors of the number, which are less than the number itself, add up to the number. So for example, 6 and 28 are perfect numbers. The number 6 has factors 1, 2, and 3. And 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. So we're going to make a program which will input any number. And we'll get it to check if the number is a perfect number. I love life. So first we're going to need a way to get the input. So we imported java.io. And we'll use um, buffered reader from there. And we know that java.io throws an IO exception. So let's just handle that right now. Let's get main to throw an IO exception and bam. So now we're going to make the buffer reader. We're going to make a buffer reader object. So it's static because it's outside the main class, Ma uh, main method, sorry, buffer reader. BR, that's what we'll call our object equals new buffer reader, reader, new input stream reader, system dot in. There we go. Basically, this is saying make a buffered reader, BR, and we'll use the input stream reader from buffered reader, which will get input from the console. So now we need to just type out a print statement. So system.out.print. I'm a horrible type. And just ask them for a number. So please enter a number. Always be polite. Int input equals integer integer dot fars int br dot read line so we know that read line method only makes it a string so we got to use integer dot fars int which converts the string into a number and then we'll assign that number to input over here all right so now that we've gotten our input let's go ahead and call the method we haven't made it yet but it's always good to call it first so validate underscore number input bam of course it's going to throw an error because we haven't made a method yet let's go ahead and make a void method so public static void validate number and we'll just pass in int n any int and now what we got to do is make a for loop which will loop up until the number minus one so for example 28 minus one check if any of the numbers so from one to to n minus one and our factors of the number and then we'll see if the num if the factors add up to the number so first we need to make an accumulator so we'll just call it int counter equals to zero now we'll make a for loop so int i equals to one we don't want starting at zero everybody knows you can't really divide by zero so i is less than or equal to n minus one because in perfect numbers you never account for the number itself as a factor i plus plus bam we got our for loop and we're halfway there not even 75 percent done now we need to check if i is divisible by the number so we can consider it a factor right so if n modulus i equals to zero then counter plus equals I. Now, if you're not um, aware of the mod modulus operator, let me just quickly explain it to you. The modulus operator basically divides the number and checks for remainders. It doesn't actually give you the answer, it just gives you the remainder. So if it's a factor, the remainder will be zero, right? Because you can divide evenly. And if that happens, then accumulate the counter with the number. So one will be, of course, a factor. So the counter will have one. Two will be a factor. So then the counter will add one plus two and it will just accumulate the values like that. So now let's get out of the for loop because our job is done there. And now we need to check if the counter, the accumulator, all the values that have been stacked up in the accumulator equal to the number, right? So if counter equals to the to n, then system dot out dot print line the number plus n, so the number, whatever it is, is a perfect number. Bam. And if that's not true, 
else you can't go wrong with that let's just be lazy and just copy this control c control v the number n is not a perfect number so there we go let's go ahead and run this so here we go our program is now open and let's enter in the number we know for sure it's a perfect number so 28 oh my num lock was off 28 the number 28 is a perfect number awesome now what we want to do is allow the user to see what the factors are right because that's pointless it just points out you know it just prints out one thing so before the for statement let's type in system.out.print right and then we'll just type in over here the factors factors are and then over here what we'll do is we will first let it accumulate and then system dot out dot print and we'll just leave a space like that and plus i we all know that it will print on the same line because the cursor hasn't moved it was print line yes part of me was print over here so the cursor is on the same line it's print over here bam and one more thing since the cursor will be on the same line we just need to make sure that it moves to the next line so just do system.out.print line bam we're done and if it makes you happier put quotes in there and let's run this again and let's put i don't know six the, the factors are one two and three the number six is a perfect number so there we go it works fine and if you have any questions be sure to comment below and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys later